What's up guys, Mitchell Pelkey back with another video and today I'm gonna show you guys inside access to Ohio State Lacrosse facilities. Let's get it going. This is the entrance. I've seen this entrance probably 2,000 times, I wanna say. The great part about this facility is it is all fingerprint access. So come in here, we got the lobby, obviously. Pretty sweet, you guys chill, do homework right here. Kind of a little walkthrough area. Always ESPN going up here, and then we'll walk into the facility. Nutritionist right here, if we ever need to dive into that. We have men's soccer locker room here, women's soccer, women's lacrosse down there, and this is our locker room. Coming right in here. Obviously, these are our new black jerseys we got this year. Black helmet. I think this is the hardest helmet we've got. Travel shoes. The hammer. This is a big part of the Ohio State lacrosse family. And this is awarded to the toughest and most grittiest Buckeye each year. Let's get into our film room. We got a famous Buckeye here. Emily Rezebeck, fellow Italian on the women's team. How you doing, Rez? Good, we're just giving a facility store. All right, so here in the film room, academic weapon, res, getting schoolwork done up there. It's where the women's and men's team get down and dirty in some film. My spot right here, number four. That's where I sit every time. Got the notepad out, this and that. We got film, like I said, the whiteboard. If we ever want to dial up some plays, coaches obviously staying back there. Anything I miss out? No, got it. Got it good? All right, thank you. All right, and here is the locker room. We got our fridge, usually stocked with water, this and that. We'll get the deep holes over here, a couple snacks. Obviously whiteboards, the flat screen. We got ESPN going almost every day. Then we got the Buckeye Creed, this is a big staple for the lacrosse program here. Lockers are pretty standard, one through 25, just around. We got the couches here, early mornings. Guys are definitely eating their breakfast here, getting ready for practice. We got the bins for loops. Trenda Chico being an absolute academic weapon. What does it mean to be a Hammer recipient winner, carrying that along with the Brotherhood this year? Big honor our program, and it just embodies uh, what being a Buckeye is all about. Love that, love that. As we keep going down here, we got my locker, number 25, number one in your heart. Come up here. We just got miscellaneous stuff. Sweats, extra clothes. We got our matte gray helmet coming down. 25, my one word for this year is smile. You got to have fun. Last year, last go. Coming here, you guys know me. The mouthpiece is head and shoulders, Pantene, body wash, water bottle, playbook. And we just recently switched to the chrome domes. We got the elbows, gloves, sticks, and then obviously down here, just some more shoes and other gear like that. James Hogan V. Uh, obviously, James is a FOGO. Yeah, he's got to have the, the sticks. It's probably the most used thing in the locker room right here. This guy. I wouldn't give this to my worst enemy, I would say that. We obviously have the team up north, Countdown. So we play them in 25 days. It's always the last regular season game of our season. Pretty cool. This is something uh, that's a big tradition here at Ohio State. Obviously, the biggest rival, I think, in college sports. Uh, as we take a right in here, we got the famous Buckeye Barbershop. This place is legendary. So this whole facility was actually new for Hoagie and I's freshman year. So when we got here, everything was really new. But this place is awesome. You know me. The hairy Italian guy. I'm in here a lot. So we get all the supplies right here. We got the razor, all this stuff. Guys get groomed up in here. So just something kind of cool. I hope you might need to shape up here soon. We got the bathroom now. Pretty standard. Soap, towels, shaving cream. Come over here, we got the towels. We obviously got the urinals over here. And then the big showers for the guys post-practice and post-game. After the locker room, keep coming down here. We have the Buckeye Fuel Zone. Refuel, refresh, recharge. It's something essential before and after practice. A couple little snacks. Again, fingerprinted. Bananas, anything you want kind of before practice. Obviously, we got the juices back there. Shake machine, whatever we need. This is kind of what we do before practice, what we eat. And then after practice, obviously the nest. And then behind you, I got what I call like the lobby. A lot of athletes come here before and after practice and kind of get schooled on. It's honestly, the library at this point. There's so many athletes here. Over here, we have the uh, athletic training room, but we won't get into that. We got a famous Buckeye, though. We got a famous Buckeye. Delaney Lawler. I play Spadaki here for the Buckeyes. Maybe lacrosse? <sighs> Always does this. First interaction with Mitchell Pelkey. Do you remember? No. Do you? No. <laughs> I know. Now, we're hopping in the weight room where we get swole as the Ohio State lacrosse team. I think one of the cool parts here is that the equipment here is second to none. We're always provided with the best equipment to be at our best. So let's go to a rack. So as you can probably already tell, every rack looks the same. It's just the Buckeye way in everything we do. From the plates to the band to where the barbell stands, everything is the same. The back side's always bench. The front side is always squat. I think the cool part about Ohio State Lacrosse, Coach Carp always switches it up. So we're with different guys to different racks. So like I said, we'll squat on the front, we'll bench on the back, barbells in the middle. Every single machine known to man along this side. And let's go up top to see the conditioning center. So up here, now it's conditioning center up top. Overlooks our field, like I said, new field. We got the bike machines, the ellipticals, Stairmaster. And then here's this kind of little turf patch up here. We do stretching, some speed work, some sprint work. Kind of everything we need to be our best is Buckeyes. Now we're hitting the nest. This is the athletic fuel zone for us here, Buckeyes. We got some lovely women's lacrosse players here. How are we doing tonight? How are we doing? Anything to say? 
I love it. Come over here. We got the nest. Like I said, all athletes have to swipe in to get access. I don't even know what we got tonight. We'll get the cod. This is James Hogan's favorite meal. The little salad bar over here. The fruit bar. And then a couple little things. Peanut butter and jelly, this and that. And then fan favorite, chocolate milk. I got one of the Buckeyes. Very young. Ari Allen. Number three, number one in your heart. What do we got going on tonight? We got a little Hershey's, uh, a little sales event. So we're trying to just pick their brains, see what sales is about, everything like that. A young mind here, a young mind. We got another Buckeyes, very young. How we doing? But I'm doing good, bro. Introduce yourself a little bit. I'm Cameron Bell. I've got done playing football here the past five years. So yeah, man. We got a little business opportunity tonight. What do we got going? Yeah, man. So a little Hershey's are coming in. Sales side of things. Yeah. I'm trying to be with student athletes right now. So I'm on Leadership Institute. So I'm okay. working right now. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. then we got one more here. What's up? My name is Amari DeBerry. I'm the program manager of student athlete development. And I was a former Buckeye lacrosse player. What was it like playing with number 25 and number 27, James Hogan, Mitch Pelkey? You know, it was elite playing with you boys. I, I enjoyed every single day. You know that, bro. I do. I do. You miss it? Every day. Every yeah. day. All right. We're keeping this tour going onto the equipment room now. And here's where the magic happens. Start in here, I think to the washers and dryers where everything kind of goes down. Can you guys give us a walkthrough of what we got going in here? Right now we're just doing some trainer towels. Your laundry going right after practice here. We got the one and only here. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kiana. How's the men's lacrosse team here at Ohio State? Elite. Elite, elite. I like that. And then we got the one and only folks. Three years now running. Legendary. Brett, who's your favorite player? Favorite player is not Mitchell Pelkey. What about number 27? Uh, on the field, number one in your heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it been working with us though? I like working with you guys. You guys are pretty good. Definitely respect the locker room pretty well. Yeah. Good squad. So obviously so here are kind of our like little bins. Obviously, Zubacic number 11. These are our travel pennies. Now we're into the lacrosse shelves. We got the uh, team issued cleats this year. Coming in here, miscellaneous stuff. Let's kind of keep going. Obviously, we have Shas, STX, the best lacrosse company in the world. Come over here. Obviously, same thing you guys have seen. The lifting shoes, some more heads, hyperpower surgeon, stallion, shoulder pads, and then obviously some more gear, Gloves. elbow pads, gloves. On to shelf number two. This is more the apparel side. We got the black unis. Again, you guys have seen all this stuff. Kind of the gear bag video. Check it out right here if you haven't. Ohio State men's lacrosse gear bag video. We'll get the black unis. Shout out the one and only Kraski. Up here is just the shorts to match it. Some old jerseys, some old practice. And then here's practice stuff. So this is like a hang around shirt. This is our game shirt. Practice shirt. Another practice shirt. Here's kind of our sweats. Our pre-game shooter jackets. I think these are hard. They have our number down there. And then on the back, the Buckeye lacrosse. Then come over here to sweats. And then college shirt. And then the throwback. Uh, these are probably the sickest unis ever. Definitely trying to get my hands on these. Throwback 2-5. As we leave the weight room, head into the atrium. We come over here. This is kind of the main lobby of the shoemaker facility. We have a little check-in desk right here. And this is all actually pretty new. Home of the Buckeyes and the then, famous Woody Hayes quote, you win with people. That's something Hoagie and I definitely live by. The shoemaker facility is just a long strip cut down the middle. The right side's all football. The left side is all Olympic sports, field hockey, lacrosse, soccer. As we keep going, we actually have all the men's lacrosse coaching staff up this way. So coach and the assistants. And as we come here, we got some more football pictures. And then let's head into the indoor. And voila. We just got the indoor now. This is one of our favorite spots to come and get extra work. You know, sometimes we practice in here when the weather's not so great, but mainly we come in here to get extra work, as we call edging. Come in here, hit the wall, get your right, get your left. This is also cool because we really can get this to it any time in the day. Come here in the morning before practice or at night after dinner. It's always here to get extra work. Let's get the tour going. Now we're here on the outdoor fields. We got two turf fields and then two grass fields. That's all football. We just stick to field turf number three. A lot of memories on this field for the first three years of my career. We practiced on this turf. And let me tell you guys something. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on this field. It's just surreal. Definitely a lot of early morning workouts and memories out on this field. In the fall, we practice in the morning. So a lot of conditioning out on this field. We panned behind my man, Hoagie. We got what they call the Buckeye Beach. Second practice here, we were doing foot fire in the beach. Core memory of me eating sand, I'll never forget. Another cool thing about about this university, especially the athletics, is just how all the athletics are all around. So obviously you have the two turf fields, the two grass fields. We pan over here, we have the baseball field. We pan in some more, we have the shot and scene center where men's and women's basketball get down. We pan back over here, we got softball, and then obviously everything else is over there with soccer and lacrosse, tennis, field hockey. Ohio State's got everything. So we just left the Shoemaker Complex. We come out of the locker room. This is kind of the walk we take. If families lined up here, kind of cheer us on. We have soccer zone stadium, Jesse Owens. We have volleyball and wrestling, Cavelli Center over there. And then we have Ty Tucker tennis over there. You guys saw all those facilities in the I tried every Ohio State sport in 24 hours right here. If you haven't seen it, let's get to the lacrosse stadium. Like everything else here, fingerprint access. I think one of the cool parts too is obviously the indoor and having the outdoor fields is awesome, but football really has priority. Obviously with lacrosse only stadium, just guys and girls. So we can really come out here whenever we want. We actually played Rutgers last night and it was sick environment, alumni weekend. We actually hit our record, right? Of like 2,500 people in stands. Standing room only, the stands were packed. This place was wild. Again, that was good for for second best in the Big Ten. Oh, Jason Knox rips it home. Nice catch 
there by Mitchell Pelkey. Pelkey with room. Fires his gun. Laser beam top shelf. If you're in the Columbus, Ohio area, please come out to a game. We have one more home game left this season against Maryland on April 7th, 7 p.m. Let's keep it going. Obviously, traditional stuff, bathrooms, this and that. Nice flat screen TV so you can watch the game live. Standard stuff, concessions, this and that. Oh, they got that up there. The Buckeye Burger. The Chicken Tendies. The Fry Cup. <laughs> Sad to say, Hoagie and I will be alumni after May, so we will be eating the Fry Cup next year. Let's head upstairs. All right, so we're here. The bleachers. I mean, Hoagie and I, it's our first time being up here because obviously we're usually here practicing. This is sick. A lot of our parents sit up here in the student section sits right down here. Obviously, over the press box and kind of where all the teams film. We have a legend, Joe Beninati here and Mark Dixon last night, BTN. They killed it on the announcement. I love those guys. I mean, this is kind of the bleachers. Pretty sick, like I said. Sold out last night against Rutgers. But yeah, let's go to the shooting room. As we keep going, we actually have a little merch stand here. This is pretty cool. Not a lot of lacrosse teams do this, but this is lacrosse-only merchandise you can only buy here at the stadium if you come to a game. So it's pretty cool. They open these little barn doors. They sell merchandise, this and that. This little hidden feature is one of my favorite things about the stadium is these little berm. As a kid, I grew up going to different games and and seating that had this little hill right here as a little kid, like this is little kid city, right? A little outdoor, little turf spot uh, to get extra wall ball. Get your 30 minutes a day in, keep that left and right strong. The visiting team locker room. And then we got a shooting room, two freshmen. We got Orange Alinus and Gavin Magonia. Let's go, let's go check up on them. <laughs> like I said, this is kind of like 24 seven access. We got everything. Come over here, we got the whiteboard. Bluetooth stereo surround sound system. We got nets so you can shoot and do whatever you want here. And like I said, we got freshman, Gavin Magonia, freshman, Orange Alinus. Edging. Getting an extra work. One shot. Let's go. Oh, come on. Save this joint, though. <laughs> Orange Linus, number 50, number one in your heart. This is our game day locker room. So obviously our traditional locker room, come over, see the parents do this and that. And then for our games, we obviously come in here and get everything all set up. I actually am a huge fan of these because pregame, like I said, before Rutgers, this place was the most lit it's ever been ever. We had Big Dale on Aux, he was playing some rap music. We had Matt Mercer hitting one of these guys. And again, we have the big three over here. Actually the big four, two, four, Connor Mitchell, two, five, Mitch Pelkey, two, six, Garrett Nielsen, two, seven, James Hogan. We're all here. We have the TV, kind of a little clock before when we go in and out. Obviously the bathroom down there and set out to the field. Hoagie and I committed to Ohio State the fall of our freshman year of high school. And I remember meeting and sitting down with Coach Myers. He was like, by the time you're done here, you're gonna have played a full season on a lacrosse only Ohio State stadium. And I think like that is something that's so cool because not a lot of schools out there get this opportunity. So we're on the field now. We're grateful to come out here and practice every single day. I didn't hit it yet, but we have the Sues up here. This is where alumni and donors sit, drink, eat during game time. It's something really cool to come up and go up there. And after our big win last night, we had a dance party. Right in the shooting room, the alumni came down. Coach was dancing, players were dancing, alumni we're dancing it's just like an atmosphere you want to be a part of so that's going to wrap up today's video i hope you guys liked it comment below your favorite aspect of the facilities i'll see you guys next tuesday at 5 p.m have a good one peace <laughs>